What do we have here? Today, we got a lot. Y'all see some shroom. Y'all see a half of a bell pepper. Y'all see some key lime. Y'all see some, you know, what else we got? Some habanero peppers. Y'all see some cilantro. Y'all see some basil. Y'all see cucumber. Y'all see zucchini. Y'all see that baby bella. Y'all see the avocado and got my coconut jelly. Like, what y'all think we're going to do today? Like, with all this stuff that I got over here. Let's take out this you know zucchini and all this stuff and put everything on the side but like what y'all think we make a salad or something like i don't know what, what, what y'all think we doing you know I, i'm gonna let y'all know what we doing we ain't doing much the only thing we're gonna be making today is guacamole i know a lot of y'all wanted to see me make the guac because i said it's super simple which it is and i'm about to make it in front of y'all real quick so y'all can see what's in it and how simple and fast it is to make and we're going to start with the you know the main part of the guac which is the avocado you know cut it open take out the take out the seed mm, don't waste food now <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then we do the same thing with this one. Mm -hmm. Check out the seam. And then we do the same thing with this third one. I'm using three avocados. Mm -hmm. And then we do the same thing again. And then you know, like I, we're just going to slice it like this. Mm -hmm. See? Now slice it into mini cubes so it could be super easy, you know, to to mash, you know, and it's going to look, you know, y'all can see it, it can, as it focus, it's going to look something like this. I got the camera on cinematic mode, so if y'all pick it up, you pick it up, but if it don't pick it up, y'all just going to have to listen to the instructions you know like look like this a little something like this we do it we do that to all you know to each of these and that should be it for the avocado everything is slicing and re ready to go what we're going to do next is we just you know use our spoon i use this spoon right here to mash it because it got the holes in the middle you know make it easier to mash and squeeze the avocado we just scoop everything out you know and like i told y'all i got a song that's called don't waste food you know if you're on spotify or apple music or youtube or whatever you could you know check out don't waste food like i'm i'm the only person in the world with a song called don't waste food so if you put if you if you search don't waste food the song will pop up and i'm saying that because i am not wasting nada not a zilch you know not a pinch of avocado I don't, I don't like to waste food because you know if you don't know i'm from a third world country well so-called third world country but i believe we're super rich and abundant because we're loaded with stuff like this avocado and everything with the best stuff on earth with beaches and great weather you know but that don't get advertised so but also there's a different side to it you know like y'all see on tv there's a lot of you know unfortunate people that you know might not be able to afford an avocado or to eat today so that's why we don't we don't waste food you know we gotta when we eat we gotta think of it you know as a it's, it's not supposed to be looked at as a luxury because everybody's supposed to eat but if you want to be real everybody's not eating so Whenever you do get something, you know, somebody's feeding you, just like I'm making some avocado for you right now because I love you and I'm feeding you. You got to know not everybody is fortunate enough to receive this love that I'm giving out right now, even though the love is for everybody to receive. So, you know, here you go. Got the avocado on the bowl and I took out all the avocado and then we're going to do, we're going to do the peppers first, you know, slice it. Slice it into little, 
little pieces, little strings, you know, slice it, and slice it some more, and slice it some more, until you can't slice it no more, you know, and then it looks like this, you know, and then now we slice it into small little, little pieces. Slice it into the bowl. the booty mm -hmm. hey. Mm. Hey. Hey. you know and then you got it like this the yellow peppers on top of it and then I slice this green onion you know split it right down a little like this you don't have to do it twice like I'm doing it, but I like to slice it down the middle twice like this. And then, you know, cut it into small little pieces on top of the yellow pepper. And I use the whole green, green onion. Mm -hmm. We ain't wasting no food, man. Mm -hmm. Mama Nature ain't give us this, all this beautiful, colorful, high vibrational food so we can waste. You know, and then we cut the green peppers and now I'm going to do this fresh, fresh basil. You know, palm it like this and then chop it up, chop it up. All right. You gotta be careful with the knife. Like if you have a super nice, um, a super sharp knife, I suggest that you use the cutting board. But I'm not trying to be extra fancy for you today. I'm gonna do it like I usually do it when I'm by myself without y'all watching. <laughs> you know, just do that again, all over again, to make sure it's not big leafy pieces, small little pieces in there. And then, you know, we just sprinkle it on top of it. Mm -hmm. By the way, I wash my hands before I start. Just let you know. Mm -hmm. This love is clean. Good, clean love. Good, good, clean love. <laughs> and right now we got the cilantro. Do the same thing with it that we did with the um basil but the cilantro you only gotta do it you know slice it one time because, and it's and it's good to go you don't have to go over it twice unless you want to but see and it's sprinkled real nice on on top of there you know and then you get your habanero peppers for you know to spice it up I'm, I'm going to use the um, cutting board for the habanero peppers. And if you don't want to use no habanero peppers, you can use, you know, cayenne pepper, the powder. But me, I prefer everything to be fresh and alive and not powdery and, and dry. So, I go with the habanero peppers. Or whatever kind of peppers that you want to use to make it hot or and spicy. You know, like I told y'all before, I like, you know, I'm a fan of hot. Not too hot. Not, you know, eyes watering hot like those chip challenges that y'all see you guys be doing online. Not that type of hot. Hot, but hot enough to eat, you know. So, you do it like this and then you just scoop it with the knife and then you just sprinkle it on, on top of there. And one thing about this, be careful. Don't, don't wipe your eyes or none of that before you know, before you wash your hand or which I've done before. 
Like, don't go to the bathroom and hold your thingy because it will burn. <laughs> you know, and now you have this. It looks beautiful. You know, kind the of pepper on top of there. And then, you know, your key line. Just make sure you take out the, um, take out the seeds. Because, you know, the, the seeds don't taste too good. If you happen to eat a seed or a seed fall in there without you noticing, it's cool. But, you know, take out the seeds. Now all the seeds is out. You just, you know, sprinkle the, squeeze the key lime juice. Mm-hmm. All in there. All juicy. You know, make it a little zesty, full of flavor. You mm know, -hmm. I'm using two because, you know, I like flavor. I like zest. You know, usually I... I put the black salt on there first, then I put the key lime, but I forgot to grab the black salt, so I just decided to put the key lime, and then, you know, I'm going to go grab it and put a little black salt on there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go do that right now. You know, they you, they you have it. Put a little black salt. Not a lot, just a little bit, because you want it to be good. You don't want it to be salty. And now, we can get the mashing. We can get the mashing of, of this guac. Get the mashing of this guac. And now... That's what we're eating today. That's going. That's our. That's our main meal. And then I say our because I mean me and you and you too, all of us. It's for the tribe. A tribe called us. Mm, this for the tribe that love and care and look out for each other and feed each other and put each other on game and you know and, and support. Mm hmm. Whatever kind of support. You know, I got to work on uh, my emotional support. My emo my emotional intelligence, you know, is a little shy. But everything else is on point. But I've been working on my emotional intelligence. I'm not even going to say emotional intelligence. My emotional support for other people. Because, you know, I, I happen to say and feel and know I am extremely cl clairvoyant. And that's, you know. And energy is always in motion, and, and I feel it. So, I'm, I'm emotionally intelligent, but I got to learn, you know, to be a little more compassionate and affectionate to other people's, you know, feelings, because that's a major part of love, you know. I love you in all type of ways, and I got to, you know, make sure I love you when it comes to supporting you emotionally. When you're going through your stuff. Just because, you know, I know how to sit in my stuff, you know. And be an alchemist and make the best out of my dark situation. Doesn't mean everybody, you know, have the same abilities. And I have to, you know, have to be, you know, a little more sympathetic. You no, know, but this is it for the guac. You know, we... Now we have hot guac. You just gotta stir it up, you know. You know, like like I said, I like my guac chunky, like this. Nice chunky little guac. Nice chunky big guac. You gotta stop using that word little. Yeah. Big guac, big bang. Mm, let's let's taste it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm we good to go. So what y'all think we're going to do with this guac? Put it on top of a salad or... Mm -hmm. Nah, that ain't what we're going to do. What y'all thought we was going to 
make a salad with a mushroom and it's no we're just gonna eat it like that like you just took a mushroom and you just mm. Mm. so good so so good try it go ahead try it mm. okay mm-hmm mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Now you can put the mushroom in here. We just eat it with a shroom like this. And then we have the coconut, coconut jelly right here. You just, you know, work for this thing. You take it out and now you can enjoy a nice coconut jelly with some guac mm-hmm and with the zucchini we just chop up the head and the booty you know you just slice it one time and two times and three times and then you cut it in half and now you got some you know zucchini slices to enjoy your your guac and we're gonna do the same thing again and this right here will have me full for the night and if i do decide to snack on some when it gets late like around eight nine o'clock or something i can just have some seeded watermelon so i don't eat nothing too heavy or too crazy before i go to sleep so i can you know be have a nice peaceful sleep you know just the way it's supposed to be a nice lovely sleep now i'm slicing this cucumber taking taking half of the skin off make it look like i'm designing a shirt or something you know and then we just we just slice the cucumber also just like we did the zucchini that's what we're going to do today mm -hmm. and then Just cut it in half, and now you got some nice zucchini slices, I mean, cucumber slices to eat. This is all for me and you. This for us, you know? This all for us. Do I really eat that much every day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love to eat. And I love to eat with y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm going through the rest of the um, coconut jelly for another day. We're going to take this out. And we're good to go. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to go outside and eat. And I'm going to eat it with y'all. Don't worry. Mm-mm-mm.